Another little update on the trackball project. The trackball uses two optical mouse sensors. Um, it uses two because each one can just detect motion in X and Y, and I want to detect motion in all three axes so I can make it scroll when you twist the ball that way. So there's two sensors in there, and each sensor, the mouse sensor is basically just a tiny myopic video camera with a really high frame rate, and then some software that processes that looking for motion. And these sensors can be thrown into a mode where instead of looking for motion and reporting motion, they just capture the image they're seeing and let you read it off uh, over SPI. So I've added some test code to the project that um, I can hook up a little tiny display. This is a 1.5 inch uh, RGB OLED display. Um, uh, and it basically takes the, you press all buttons, all three buttons together, it throws the trackball into a mode where it's just reading the data off the sensors and displaying it on the screen. And so I do that, I get, and because of the rolling shutter in the camera, you see uh, a little bit of beat frequency there, but this actually looks quite solid in person. Um, and each of these is just what the mouse, what each mouse sensor is seeing. So there's, you know, two sensors, each gives a 30 by 30 grayscale image. If I pull the ball out and put my finger in front of the sensors, if I get it the right distance, you'll see fingerprint ridges. And I can get my fingernail in there. You can see the you can see the edge of my fingernail. So what this does is it lets me see how the how the uh, ball actually responds, or how the how well the sensors can track sort of what they're seeing on each ball that I use. Um, so this pearlescent pool ball is the one I have that works the best so far. I've also got a pearlescent eight ball, which is a little bit, it works pretty well, but it seems to skip a little bit every time this part passes under the sensor. So I put that in there and try to get the sensor, try to get the eight directly under the sensor here. You can see that there's a black space that it seems to have some trouble tracking motion on. So this should be really useful uh, if you're setting up a new one of these to make sure that you have the distance to the ball correct and that your, the ball that you're using has some features the thing can see. So that's uh, that was my uh, optimizing blit loops last night to get that thing to update in a reasonable fashion. Uh, yeah, it was kind of fun and it was a throwback to Work I did 20 years ago, working on uh, some quick time or quick draw and quick time acceleration on a couple of different video cards, where a lot of what we did was split loops. <laughs> uh, that's it for now.